Hello and welcome to Catherine's Granny Squares. Today we're actually going to be looking at Granny Squares. They seem to be everywhere at the moment and they're so versatile you can make them into blankets and lots of different projects. So today we're going to be looking at Granny Squares. I'm going to be using these colours but indeed granny squares are ideal for using up your oddments of yarn like I've done on this blanket which has been on the go forever. So if you are using oddments of yarn the one thing that I have found is if you stick to oddments of the same weight you do get a better finish but you don't need to do that there's no hard and fast rules. So let's get going on showing you how to make the granny square. I'm going to be using this double knit yarn I just showed you and I'm going to go up to a 5mm crochet hook today. So we'll just pop this over there for a bit and we're going to start by getting our yarn onto the hook with a slip knot. If you're not sure of any of the stitches that I'm using you can check out the basic stitches on my channel but also they are on other channels as well. So we'll start off and we'll do four chains. Try and work loosely because we want to make a little circle and it's better if you do work a bit looser. So four chains and then go into the first chain and join with a slip stitch just need a little circle to start off and we're going to go up three chains then we're going to work into that little circle into the middle just tease the yarn and then you'll find the center <coughs> excuse me and go in to the center and make two trebles so one two then do two chains and back into the middle of the circle and do three trebles. Just trying to take that end along with me. Do two chains and another three trebles. two chains and back in the middle of the circle with another three trebles. And two chains. Now before you join <clears throat> excuse me, a bit throaty today, just check you have got four sets of three trebles, bearing in mind that first little set was made up initially with the three chains. When you're happy you've got those, join into the first of that three chain 
with a slip stitch. So we'll just cut that yarn Now, don't be worried you've got a big hole. All you have to do is turn the work over <clears throat> and just pull on the end and that will close up the middle for you. So we'll get another colour. We're going to go for this blue. As I say, I'm going to use the two, just the two colours today. Join into the next big space. I just use slip stitch to join. And we'll start off with three chains. Into the same corner space. Do two trebles. And two chains because we're making a corner here and three trebles all into that same space. Now we're going to go down that side so we'll do one chain and then we're going to go into this next corner. We're going to put three trebles. Two chains. And three trebles. And that's how we make our corners. So we'll just have a look and that's how you should be looking. You've made two corners because we're going down this side we'll do one chain and then we'll go into this next corner and we'll do exactly what we've done in the other corner with three trebles so only the first initial corner that you do it differently because you haven't got the three chains in the other subsequent corners you make three trebles rather than three chains and two trebles. So you do your three trebles, your two chains and your three trebles. And because we're going down the side, we do one chain and then we're going into the last corner with the three trebles. two chains and three trebles. Because we're going down the side we do one chain and then we join this round to the top of that three chain that we made initially so just locate the top chain of that free chain and join with a slip stitch into there. Now if you didn't want to change colour you've already slip stitched into the top of the free chain you would slip stitch 
into the top of this treble and the next treble and then slip stitch into the corner then you would just start again so that's if you didn't want to change colour but we're going to do a colour change so let's just get the scissors and snip off that yarn and we'll do the green again I just want to show you on the next part how we go down the side filling up there so I'll just get some green yarn on the hook so I've joined there. I'm just going to go into this space here. Of course you can stop and you can do your ends, weave them all in or you can leave them to the end. Made that a bit tight haven't I? Let me try again. Right, here we go. Do your three chains to start and your two trebles. Two chains and three trebles now we're going down the side so we do our one chain but we've created the space from the previous round and as your granny square grows you create more spaces so in those spaces you put three chains sorry three trebles three trebles you're making a granny cluster in the spaces when you've filled up the space do a chain and as I say as your square grows you'll get more spaces to fill in you fill them in with your three trebles and then you do your chain and then we're back to the corner and we make another corner and corners are made by three trebles two chains and three trebles and then we do our one chain because we're going down the side and then we fill up in this case we've only got one space but as I say it will grow and you'll have more so we put three trebles in there to make a granny cluster in your space and then we follow that with one chain and then we go on to the corner and that is how you do your granny square so I'm just bringing this one in so that's how it would look you carry on you've got your one space in this one but to say like in the blanket as you go on you will create more spaces and you do a chain in between your filling up of your spaces and then you do your corner and it'll just grow and grow so I hope that that has refreshed the granny square for you if you haven't already subscribed 
if you'd like to think about that it doesn't cost anything and then I will see you on another video oh and don't forget to weave in your ends as I say as you go or at the end I actually watched a television last night weaving in ends I found it quite therapeutic anyway hopefully I'll see you on another video so I'll leave you with that one bye for now